Hello and welcome back to Officina Virtuale. We are going to be continuing our beginner's guide, so let's click on Start Mechanical Design, uh, Part Design, Part 1. OK, here we are. Click and hold the middle mouse button, we can move around our scene. Click and hold the middle mouse button and right click, we can zoom in and out. And click and hold the middle mouse button and click and hold the right mouse button, we can rotate our scene. Okay. So let's select uh, a plane, we can select the XY plane, we can select our plane in our specification tree or here in uh, our 3D representation and let's click on sketch. Today we're going to talk about line, equidistant point and uh, we will use our sketch tool. This is a very important uh, element, our sketch tool. Uh, we've got uh, our first icon here, that means we can uh, hide and show our grid. Okay. Uh, let's click on uh, this icon. If you cannot see these two different toolbar, uh, right click on this grayish uh, window and you can enable all this tool. So let's design our first line. Okay, as always, we've got our sketch solving and we've got an under constraint sketch. Uh, we've got a line that means two different points, and to fix the position of this line, we need to, fi to, to fix the position of these two different points. As you can see here, we've got this little circle here. Close. So, Let's select our constraint, we can fix the position of our first point, for example. Delete, selecting a point. This is our first point, this is our second point. Okay. Let's check our sketch. As you can see now, we've got an isoconstraint sketch. This is our first option, but we can design our line. As you can see here, we've got uh, this uh, toolbar here. We can specify uh, the position of our first point. For example, we can specify the length. Uh, this is what we were going to do now. We can select, we can design our first line. We can fix the position of our first point. So selecting our first point, uh, vertical and uh, horizontal. And we can introduce a different type of constraint. For example, we can introduce this angle constraint here. And uh, as you can see now, we've got an under constraint sketch because we need to fix the position of our uh, second point. Uh, we cannot change the direction of this line, but we can change the length of this line. So we need to fix, for example, this position. We can uh, fix uh, the length of our segment. Now let's click on these icons, snap to point, and let's design our line. As always, this, this is our first line. Uh, with this icon enabled, I can design a second line uh, using this first point as a start point, as you can see. Okay, and now I will design. Let's design a third line with these snap options. Okay, uh, we've got these options here. It's a very important option. Uh, selecting a different element, we can flip between standard element and construction element. Normally we will use uh, a normal element, but sometimes we will use even construction element. It's a very important element, because if I flip in uh, my 3D space, as you can see here, we cannot see our uh, construction element. Uh, double click on our sketch, now we are in our sketch, and as you can see I can flip between normal and standard, standard element. Okay. Now let's check, uh, we've got this point option, and 
and uh, uh, I can select uh, with this drop down arrow here the option equidistant points. I can select an element as you can see here we've got uh, eight, nine, nine different points equidistant. I can reverse the direction and click OK. As you can see here we've got these different options here. Uh, I can enable this uh, uh, geometrical constraint here, selecting our line and clicking on equidistant point and clicking OK. As you can see here now we've got this O and that means coincidence between point and line. And uh, now I can enable this and selecting our equidistant point and OK. Now we've got this dimension applied. If you like this videos please like share subscribe and so on see you soon ciao